hey guys welcome back to my channel and on today's video i'll be showing you guys how to create animated text inside of figma so i'll show you guys how to move from this screen here to this screen that we have is kind of an animated background on the text then also having this screen here then also having this kind of cool button where we have this kind of uh, shiny effect so without further ado let's get started Before I get started, there's a link to this Figma file and all the other assets used in this video in the description. So you can copy the file and also play around with it if you want to test it out. So the first thing I will do is to duplicate this artboard here in three places since I'll be replicating these three styles here. So let's uh, copy this, use option and drag. Then if you're on a window, you can use your alt key. So I'll duplicate this. Drag this here, place this under this artboard. Do the same for this. Then um, the next thing I will do is to replicate this particular text here. So if you look at the text now, let's see how this text looks like. You can see how it looks like. It has these colors that are moving inside of it. So let's go back to the Figma editor. So in order for me to replicate this style, what I would do is to select this, make sure the text is selected, go to fill, select the color, change it from solid to image. Now Figma lets you add a normal uh, image like your PNG files, your JPG files inside here. You can also add GIF files as well. So in order for us to achieve that effect, you can use the GIF file in this, uh, in this uh, text. So I'll go to choose image. Let me find my uh, text. I think it's inside here. I have my GIF. It's inside here, so I'll select this. And when we preview, you can see it's the same style inside. So um, we can also add videos inside of this text. So I will show you guys that in the next uh, the next artboard. The next screen we'll be replicating will be this screen. So this screen has um, color text, has a video in the background, and has a mask in front of it. So the first thing I will do here is to create uh, a frame that is the same size as the artboard. So I'll draw a frame here, use A and draw a frame. So I'll set this to 14. I'll set the width to 1440 then this the height to 875 since that's the same size as the artboard sorry 875 yeah. then i'll call this um video i will duplicate this again be here then call this um mask so i already added the mask color palette to my uh design so i'll just go to fill and add this to it so select gradient then we have the mask ready then for the video i would select the video artboard go to um fill select this go to video so i'll go and select the video choose video let's get the video so i'll add the link to all the video you see in this folder under the video the description so you can also download it and play around with it and see what you can create so uh yes let's go inside here i'll add this now figma doesn't allow you upload videos that are more than 30 mb so some of the videos you might need to like crop them to actually get it to work inside of figma so now this is the video and we have our mask right on top of it so I would come here, put this mask on top of this. Then I would group this together. Select both the, select this and use Ctrl G to group it. Then I would 
drag it inside this artboard above. So you just drag this here. Then I will just right click and send to back. Then we have this. Then for us to change this text now, we'll select this text, select here, change this to video, go to choose video, and select our video. I used video 14 for this, so then let's search for 14. And that video background here. So this is it. So once you preview this, I think we have some space here, so we need to adjust this a bit. Okay, now this looks good. So we can now preview this. Take some time to load. Then we have our video background with uh, the video inside the text as well that is moving. So let's get back to the third um, frame or the third artboard. So uh, this is the final artboard. So I've already done most of the work here. So I would just probably delete this and duplicate this so we don't have to do that all over again. So the idea here is to be able to replicate this uh, shiny button here. It has a cover status. So what I'll do now is to um, get this button. I'll just copy this. Okay, I think the icon isn't part of it. So I would select this and also select this. Let's get the group. Select this this code drag this inside this button let's call this button okay then drag this inside here i think i should fix it okay now i can select it and copy good okay so use ctrl c copy and come here we paste it so the first thing we'd want to do is to change the border of this so you select the border of the rectangle you can see the stroke is white so you go to the stroke select this change it to video then you can now switch let's select the same video background i used previously so video background copped now our video is now inside of the stroke now we need to have a hover state where if you hover on this button the um feel will kind of show so what i will do is to um copy this um button and duplicate it so ctrl c and ctrl v then we have a button drag it down so i want this second state to have like a hover kind of state that shows a slight feel so I'll select this button, go to the rectangle, select it, add a few, set it to white, decrease the opacity here, here to say something like 10. Then we have our default state and we have our hover state. So I would select this, right click, create component, select this. Right click, create component as well. So let's call this, uh, let's call this button default. Then let's call this button over. Then I would select the two buttons, combine them as variants. Now we have a component. So let's name this to button component now what we'll do is to add a prototype to this button so we'll select the first button go to prototype we want the interaction to start when they hover so we'll tap on this plus select this and switch it to on 
do and turn it to while hovering when it's when uh someone hovers on this they need to change to this so we we'll drag this here you can see while hovering change to this then for this we'll drag it and go back here this will be mouse leave so once the mouse leaves this button it leaves this button to switch back to this so let's um switch switch this to smart animate also zoom in let's zoom in and select the while hovering change it to smart animate then um also we can also rename this so it's, so it's easy for us to remember what we selected so what i would do is to select the button we'll go to the design tab select this button change this property one to let's say style then we can rename this to just uh hover enter then this we can rename this to default so what we can do is to just copy our button component into this artboard so let's copy our button select it ctrl c then let's take this off delete this this is delete this and replace it with the button guts okay, let's drag this down here and make sure it has the same distance between this 50 33 32 then align it to the center as well all right then let's preview this So you can see how this looks then once we hover it has this grayed out white field on top of it so that's how you can uh, really create amazing stuff using videos inside of figma there are tons of uh, explorations we could try i would also upload more videos on, on different things you can do with videos and gifs inside of figma so let me know what you think in the comments Feel free to ask any question and I will respond to it. Stay safe and take care. Peace.